So we're gonna talk through a chest supported row with dumbbells and you're gonna either be doing this for upper back or rear delts, so I'll explain both. They're both basically identical. They have a subtle difference, but I will go through that in just a moment. The first thing I wanna go through is the bench height. Then we're gonna talk about the arm path. Then we're gonna talk about the range of motion and then we'll talk about different setup options. And so when we're looking at the actual bench height. What I want you to do is I want you to set up with the lowest bench height that you can use and still get full range of motion or a full stretch at the bottom. And so what that full stretch at the bottom is gonna look like is being able to stretch your arms all the way down while holding dumbbells, but also let the shoulder blades protract. This is the bottom of the rep. And so you gotta be able to get here. And so if I go one click down, I could probably get pretty close actually. This might actually work for me just fine. But if I go down to like a 15 degree or something like that, now my arms are hitting the floor. So I want you to use the lowest bench angle that you can use while still getting full range of motion. For me, 30 degrees feels roughly perfect. That's gonna work best for most people. And that full range of motion, again, isn't just here, it's letting the shoulder blades really protract, almost like a dead hang here, really letting the dumbbells pull your arms as low as possible. Now, when it comes to the arm path or where you're pulling, are you tucking your elbows super tight? Are you going out to the sides a little bit? Are you flaring your elbows entirely? If this exercise is for upper back, then you're going to flare your elbows up around 90 degrees. If this is more for rear delts, what I want you to do is tuck the elbows, not all the way, but slightly. And so you're gonna be pulling in this plane right here where the elbows are tucked a little bit, but not all the way. Something like maybe 45 degrees up off the body. I'll let you know, doesn't need to be perfect. Just know you don't need to hug the elbows to the side and you don't need to flare them all the way up at 90 degrees. And so I'll show you what those two would look like. This would be your upper back motion where you're pulling up here. And this will be your rear delt motion here. And so there's a subtle difference, right? A little bit more elbow tuck. And you'll find that when you're doing them for rear delts, your elbow will get a little bit further back behind the body than if you flare your elbows a ton that's totally normal. So again, upper back would be here, elbows more flared, and rear delts would be elbows tucked and elbows really far back behind the body. Now, if you're doing it for upper backs, and I will specify within the exercise description, your palms will match your arm path. And what that means is I'm flaring my elbows and I'm using a pronated grip, right? That's gonna be most comfortable. But when I do them for rear delts, I'm gonna rotate the dumbbells along with my elbows, right? So I'm gonna have my hands on this same kind of plane here that makes this motion very intuitive, very comfortable, right? If I'm going here, I don't wanna have my palms down, I don't wanna have my palms up, I want it to kind of match that elbow position. Now, again, on range of motion, we talked about it, but I wanna show you what it looks like with the dumbbells. I wanna make sure that you guys are getting that full stretch at the bottom, which seems to be the most important part of this whole movement. And so what that looks like is not this. This is not the end of the range of motion. This is the end of the range of motion, right? It's subtle, but this is my shoulder blades back in neutral. This is letting them stretch and protract. And this is where I want everyone to get with this movement. And then that's the top position there. Again, this would be for rear delts. And this would be more upper back. Now, when it comes to setting up how you're gonna sit in the bench and where you're gonna put your feet and what are you gonna do with your chest, I advise most people, especially those with larger chests or just boobs in general, to get them up and over the bench. Almost place the top of the bench right in your sternum here, right below the chest. And then find a position for your feet that is the most comfortable. You might find that having your feet up close and wide is very comfortable, makes you feel very stable. I find this position incredibly comfortable. You might find that having your feet back here, incredibly comfortable, incredibly stable. You might even find that having your knees up on the bench feels incredibly stable, incredibly comfortable. That's all fine with me. There's no wrong way to do this. It's about getting into a position that makes you feel very stable and strong and locked in. And for me, that's gonna be putting the bench below my chest and keeping my feet nice and close here 
also here is just fine. I personally don't feel very stable here. I feel a little wobbly. I like having my feet on the ground. But at the end of the day, it's about what you feel comfortable with.